بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رحمت و رسلی اللہ رسول الکریم امبیسڈر صادق بابر ربن اور کونسل جنرل آف ٹرکی ان دی سٹی آف لاہور سردار دنیس ریکٹر یو ایم ٹی ڈاکٹر محمد اسلم آر ویری ڈسٹنگوش پروفیسر اکیڈمک سولجر and uh, director of Pakistan Turkish uh, Studies, General Javed Hassan. Uh, very esteemed guests from Turkey and from Pakistan, Ambassador Harun Shokat. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullah. It is indeed uh, another remarkable day in the history of uh, UMT's contribution to Pakistan Turkey. Uh, relations. Uh, if I were to recap our uh, milestones, uh, I have to turn pages, a lot of pages and go back to actually 1995 when we organized the first international business forum in the city of Lahore and a contingent of about 25 Turkish business people came to this conference on their own and uh, we set up a, this institute, this uh, institution uh, which became a platform for interaction of uh, uh, businessmen, industrialists and traders from all over the Muslim world. Uh, this uh, institution has yet to date has met about uh, 22 times in different cities of the world and uh, this year they are meeting in Amman. So, uh, it is not new, we have been doing some really seminal work, you know, in this, uh, to strengthen this. And we started back in 1995 and I'm, I really feel delighted and take pride uh, in that achievement that with the cooperation and our esteemed spirit, our collaboration and the great mutual trust we have, uh, we can see that how a very small initiative can grow, can expand and can take root and uh, last time when it was in when, when when it was held in Lahore in 1995 there were about 235 delegates from 33 countries uh, today when it is organized there are uh, delegates from 100 plus countries and uh, more than uh, 8000 sometimes 10000 12000 delegates from all over the world participating so the seed work the seed work was done by people like you when they were your age. And certainly I was young, much younger, 22 years back. Uh, since then, we have uh, kept our focus on strengthening the relationship, relations and I think at least uh, half a dozen times uh, I took business delegates to Turkey for the different uh, activities. Uh, very recently, uh, we have uh, also strengthened our uh, relations with academic institutions of Turkey and uh, we have increased our frequency of visits and exchange. Uh, we hope to uh, organize the global conference on uh, Islamic finance, banking and uh, economics with uh, Sabahuddin Zaim University of Finance and Economics in Istanbul next year in January and uh, one another conference that we planned on history and culture is with in, is in collaboration with Siljuk University another conference on uh, public policy and uh, global governance uh, uh, is uh, we are we are is, uh, is 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 in the drawing board with Bayezid University Ankara so we hope to have these three conferences regularly convened uh, once in Pakistan and once in uh, Turkey. So these three conferences will take shape in the next year. Uh, then uh, we have a relationship with the Turkish Aviation Academy. I visited Turkish Aviation Academy. Our faculty members have visited. Uh, we have been trying to launch their training programs. I've seen their facility, excellent facility, and we also have aviation program. So I think our students in aviation can learn from 
Turkish uh, programs and courses in Turkish aviation uh, offered by Turkish Aviation Academy and they have offered a 50% 50% waiver of tuition fee to Pakistani students which is not available to Turkish students. So students from Pakistan will be doing will be studying there at 50% less cost than their Turkish brethren. Uh, taking the same courses. So this is a great facility and a great uh, contribution by Turkish Aviation Academy. Uh, we have then uh, set up when General Javed uh, joined us uh, and uh, we learned about his expertise in uh, Turkey, about his knowledge in Turkey, his background in Turkey. And Rahat Saab also has been in the commercial con Pakistani, you know, commercial consular, I guess, in, in uh, Istanbul, and a, and a consul general in Istanbul. So uh, I think we have a background in Turkey now, be deepening our resources in uh, in uh, having expertise in Turkey. Uh, so we started with this uh, Pakistan Turkish Studies Center. And we are going to identify areas where we can work. Uh, we have a lot of sentiments. We have a lot of emotions. We have a golden past. We have a shining present uh, uh, time. And of course, we have a bright future. But we need to do some hard work as to really figure out how we, these two countries can capitalize uh, upon their relationship economically, uh, fi financially, uh, uh, you know, trade and commerce wise, uh, and also education in the fields of education and culture. So you have open invitation that if you want to draw upon your interest uh, in this area, in these areas, please contact General Javed. Now you have a club with you also partnering with you. So I hope that uh, the members of the club will take a leading role in guiding our students. Uh, we will see that we uh, take Pakistani students to Turkey soon next summer. And uh, so that we have a steady visit, we go to Turkish, Turkish institution. You will really enjoy the history that you get to see over there. Roman history, uh, Ottoman history. Uh, Seljuk history and then uh, the, uh, the development that you would see in Turkey uh, that how Turkey has solved its uh, issue, has solved its problems, how it has uh, uh, been able to catch up with the most advanced countries of the world. Uh, I am truly impressed by the heroic, uh, what Turkey has achieved under the heroic leadership of President Tayyip Erdogan. Uh, the per capita income in 1995 was about $2,000 in Turkey. Now it is over $10,000. The exports of Turkey were $30-35 billion. Now the exports are $160 billion. And uh, you can see in all other primary uh, parameters, Turkey has grown and has achieved a lot. So I think we can learn from the Turkish experience and these brothers are willing to welcome us with their open mind, open heart and open arms. So we need to take, the, to take this opportunity and it is your future, uh, it is your chance and I believe that it is your call. So this club, I would suggest that uh, you have set up this club in Pakistan and with the patronage and direction of the ambassador uh, I hope that you will take this club to other universities as well. Why not? Uh, go, to your, go to the other universities and establish the same club so that, you know, it is a nationwide spirit and this should be seen in campuses that uh, here is a country we can uh, emulate, here is a country we can learn from and here is a country which is our brother, uh, truly brother. As I mentioned in my last speech, we are there are relatives in terms, there are brothers, there are sisters, and there are truly, you know, blood brothers. So we are more than blood brothers. I've seen that warmth and that fraternity and that, uh, uh, that great attachment uh, among, among our Turkish brothers for their 
uh, sister uh, nation, brotherly nation of Pakistan. Uh, I am really pleased to welcome uh, Ambassador Sadek uh, Babur Gurgan, who before his term expires has taken time out to visit UMT. Uh, the essentials of your as an ambassador in your list wouldn't have completed without visit to UMT. So I'm glad that you have. Uh, I'm glad that you have fulfilled one one of those last <laughs> things to be done, and I hope that you will carry forward this flame of Pakistan-Turkish relationship uh, back to Turkey, and we hope to see you in Turkey and uh, we hope to continue to work together uh, with yourself. Thank you very much.